Hi, and welcome to 3D Mechanical Design. Today we will use the basic sheet metal commands to create a hose clamp with fasteners. 6 mm screw, washer and nut. The hose clamp inside diameter 30 mm, width 25 mm, the thickness of 1 mm. And holes for a 6 mm screw. Let's start. New file. Front plane. Start sketching. I will choose a three-point arc. We make an arc with a small gap from below. The clamp radius is 30 millimeters. Next, I will add a center line. Add a symmetrical relation between the line and two points. The gap is 5 mm. I will add two lines, 48 mm from the center. Pick lines and make an equal relation. I am going forward, and I will choose a metal sheet. I find the option Base Flange tab. From Boss Flange Manager, I will choose a depth of 25 mm, 1 mm thickness. radius 3 mm and reverse direction 30 mm inside diameter and click OK next I will select the features and pick the chamfer From Chamfer Manager, Distance 2 mm and Angle 80 degree, 90 degrees minus 10 degrees equal to 80. And I will choose the four corners. So, we go ahead, and from sheet metal, I press edge flange. I will make two flange. Flange length 7 mm. And press OK. Now I am going add the hole for screw 6 mm. Hole diameter 6.5 mm, distance from center 41 mm. Next extruded cut. Through all. Pick OK. Next step we will add slot 10 mm by 110 mm. But first I have to create a flat pattern. 
sheet metal and pick unfold command. I pick flat face and all bends for unfold. and click OK. We can see a flat pattern. And we could go further to start the sketch for the slot. Construction center line and I choose center point slot. One hundred ten millimeters by radius five millimeters. Extruded cut up to next. Next fold command, and I will select all bends to fold. One more. So, we have hose clamp, and next step, I will add 6mm screw, washer and nut. Let's go. First I select 6mm screw. Pick face for make. OK, and add concentric mate. Same for washer and nut. Now we have hose clamp, with fasteners. I hope you will find this video useful. If you want to continue to improve your SOLIDWORKS skills and see more of our video, please subscribe to more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching.